What is going on, people? Inside the internet machine, welcome to this episode of TLC Toys, Legos, and Collectibles. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of your CM Metro gaming goodness. I'm going to start calling these videos TWIT. This Week in Toys. I think that sounds pretty good. Anyway, we got some cool stuff. We got some trade. We went to the flea market, so let's just jump right into it. All right, so here we go. Got this in a trade with my man Tyler. This is the uh, Micro Machines playset, the car wash. Very cool. Comes with the exclusive purple Pasafino in there, I think. Or is that the Felis? I don't know. But comes with the, the purple uh, exclusive vehicle. I uh, traded in one of those uh, world packs that came with the delivery truck in the mail van. So yeah, very cool there. And then he also hooked us up with another adventure pack, the Micro Desert Adventure. This is Series 4 Micro Machines. We're going to be opening this up and doing reviews on all four of these Series 4 three packs, which is absolutely awesome. And then uh, he found this. I forget where he said he found it, but he got it for 10 bucks. And these are like, uh, you know, 14, 15 bucks at uh, Walmart and whatnot. It is the Mandalorian Battle Pack. And the Star Wars Battle Packs seem to be great investments if you look at their history. So if you're interested in collecting or investing in Lego, definitely uh, think about picking up some of these while they're still cheap. I think you can get them for $13.97 at Walmart. But like I said, Tyler found it somewhere and got it for uh, 10 bucks. We went to the uh, Heath Flea Market a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago, whatever it was. One of the vendors said that he actually had some micro machines at home and that he would bring them in. Well, he finally did. So Tyler and I picked up a bag each of micro machines. We'll get those on the turntable so we can take a closer look at them. While we were over there, there was a GameStop that said that they had some Series 3 blind bags still left in stock. So we grabbed four of those and I'm pretty sure we got one of the silver command vehicles. So the next video I do, we're going to do the Micro Machines Series 4 unboxings. All right, so the first car here, I just want to give a shout out to Dylan in our Micro Machines group for hooking me up with the Series 2 blind bag Pasafino. I did not have this car and it is the last car I needed to complete my Series 2 blind bag set. So thanks again to Dylan. I really do appreciate it. Love this car. I'm a big fan of the color blue because, you know, I love blue. So this car is right up my alley. I love the gold rims and the uh, yellow trim there. Pasafino, this was actually the gold or the chase car in the Series 1 World Pack. So yeah, very nice looking car. All right, so the first thing that we grabbed from the flea market are that purple and the black Insiders. Insiders was a Micro Machines line where they made smaller cars that went into the bigger cars. You can see the Chevy Bel Air back there. But those parts always got lost, so I definitely picked those up, even though I don't actually have the correct vehicles uh, for those Micro Machines currently. Second vehicle that we got from the flea market is this Porsche 956. This is out of the Imposters line from 1991 and all you got to do is push that front bumper and the car will pop open they made a whole series of these i actually picked up a a van and i gave it to tyler so he's got one of his collection because it ended up being a double for me and that's what it looks like when you push the bumper this one's not very exciting the uh, roof and the hood pop open there and you can kind of see inside the car a little bit the next one we grabbed here, a little beat up, you can kind of see the detail there, but it is the uh, Texas Highway Patrol Chevy Blazer from 1995. Uh, came out, I think there was a helicopter in that set, maybe a cruiser, and then a little guy, but yeah, very cool to add that to the collection. I don't really see that set. Again, it's a little bit later in the Micro Machine lifestyle, life cycle, especially when we're talking about the Galoob ones, which uh, ended about 1998. 1997 somewhere in there but uh, still a neat addition to the collection some of my favorite micro machines of all times were the speedboats this is a speedboat type one again these weren't in the best condition but again how often do you really see micro machines out there so i was definitely going to snag it i like the blue and white and orange painting on it at least it's not totally gone but yeah i mean it's a speedboat they made a bunch of them and uh, i love them here we go. You remember when Dodge Viper ruled the world? This is the uh, 1994 Dodge Viper in blue and white. Got a little dings and dents on it, but still overall in very, very nice condition. Uh, this car actually sells for about $12 
online. So I was actually lucky to pick it up. And I didn't have a Dodge Viper in the collection, which uh, is always fun to add a car that you don't have. All right, so the last pickup, I really like the semi-trucks. And uh, when I see those, I'm definitely going to pick them up. This is the Shell Tanker Truck with the uh, the tanker piece. Now this little hitch part is always broken. So to find one that uh, isn't broken is definitely lucky. So plug that in there, there we go. And she'll spin around. Very, very excited to get this one, like I said, because I actually have the Shell gas station playset, and this will go nicely with the uh, the vintage playset. So they actually made the Shell trucks in, I wanna say like three or four different styles. But uh, like I said, I'm lucky enough to have one. All right, there you have it. That is This Week in Toys, also known as Twit, here on the CM Retro Gaming Channel. Please like, comment, subscribe, share on social media. Don't forget to bang that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of your CM Retro Gaming goodness, guys. Take care of yourselves, and we will see you on the next one.